Bob Ray, just real quickly tell us about your uh, group that you were in on, uh, on D-Day. We was in the 90th Division, 357th Infantry, and uh, we know this tough hombres, but we wasn't tough as we ought to be, I don't guess. <laughs> it, uh, but anyhow, we went, uh, we was on the line, uh, might say a month straight, and we drove across the peninsula, and we were the holding force to keep any Germans from going up to Sherberg or coming out from Sherberg. And best my recollection, the 79th drove up there and, and finally captured Sherberg. And on, then 4th of July, they pulled us back and gave us a break, and we got a shower, the first shower we'd had since we come in there, and they invaded for it. And uh, got a rest for half a day, and then went back up on the line the morning of the 5th of July. The last village I remember going to was a little place called St. Mary's. And it was just a wide place in the road. It wasn't, uh, wasn't no big town or nothing. What town had you? We went through the village of St. Mary's. And then that night, they sent us out on that patrol. And it was raining that night. And we crossed this highway, got this, this sergeant who was leading us got up to the highway and we stopped. And he said that we, we could get across there all right. But when we started to cross this paved road, the Germans had a machine gun set up, up the road about uh, 100 yards, I guess, maybe not that far. And they, they heard us and cut loose on us. And part of us got across the road, and part of them never did get in the road. And I was a BAR man, and I was in front to give them firepower if we run up on anything like that. Part of the guys went back and never did cross the road. My assistant gunner from Frederick, Maryland, never did get across the road. And the only thing I know for sure, he didn't get killed in the road. And uh, it was still dark then. And we went on out, and we held out, out there all day that day, and I got shot in the shoulder about 8 o'clock that morning. And uh, I didn't get caught, hit crossing the road, but I got shot that morning about 8 o'clock. Actually, I thought a horse kicked me, because there's horses all around us loose in them hedgerows. And, and it, I, didn't, I didn't realize I was shot for a few minutes. And uh, we held out all day, and that evening about 5 o'clock, we, we run out of ammunition and was tried to break out, tried to get back to our lines. And we got deeper in the German lines and, and we got back to our lines. We got down to this swamp where they had flooded this area to slow our tanks and everything up. And we thought if we swim across that water, it would be to our benefit. But when we crawled out of that water on the other side, the Germans was there waiting on us and they captured four of us. One guy had his leg broke and couldn't walk and they just killed him. And I didn't tell them nothing about being shot in the shoulder. But we had to walk all night that night. Now I don't, I don't know from our own what, what villages we got in. But they, they moved us at night mostly. And uh, I think everybody ought to get out here and walk down the road with your hands up like this mm -hmm. and see how far you get. Oh, I, I couldn't do it. I had to put my hands down on my head like this because I couldn't raise this arm up in. And, uh, well, Harold, so let me, let me retrace it on uh, June. Uh, what day did you land on D-Day? It was June the, uh, was it, what is it, June 5th? July the, or June? The day we went in. The day you went in. It was the evening of the sixth. Okay, the evening of the sixth. Yeah. Uh, and so you were back, and you were shot on July. And you were shot and captured on July seventh. Seventh. So a month, uh, one day basically, uh, you had gone in. So uh, the, the cities that you remember going into 
were you went into St. Lowe. Uh, we went around St. Lowe after we got after we got captured. After you got captured. Yeah. Right? Okay, that's that's what I want John to to, to understand. Uh, well, well, that that's just amazing. Do you? Uh, and, and I've asked you this before. Did you think about it yesterday at all? Well, I think about it every day. Got my dog tag and a bullet that the dug out of me and my bronze star. My wife wears my purple heart. We can put it back on the chain. Yeah. Now, Harold, you have mentioned many times about a railroad. Uh, I think that may help us uh, figure out your location as well in France. Tell me about the railroad that you remember uh, in Normandy. Well, on it, while we was holding this ground to keep any Germans from going to Cherbourg or coming out from Cherbourg. It was 17 Germans surrendered and first and come up the railroad with a flag, white flag. And then the other 16 followed it. And we sent them on back behind their lines. And it was just a one track railroad. I don't know where it went. And then this highway we crossed wasn't too far from there. How far I don't really remember. So, uh, we didn't have uh, cameras and records to keep things in like they do now when they're in combat. We didn't have the newspaper with us. That's the reason we won the war. Uh, in my opinion. It, uh, there wasn't nobody to tell them we're going to attack this village today or that and tomorrow like they do now. 